Now, if you're at all familiar with David Cronenberg films, then you're very well aware his love for body horror. <gasps> Sex. The Weird. And sometimes all three all at once. And the apple doesn't fall far from the tree where his son, David Cronenberg, who's now a filmmaker himself, brings body horror, sex, and the weird to a whole new level for modern audiences with his feature debut film of Possessor. Uh, it was released in 2020 and his follow-up was Infinity Pool, which personally I think is a much better crafted film. And saying like father, like son is an understatement. And the folks across the pond over at Second Sight has given Possessor the royal 4K treatment in both this limited edition box set, but they also released a standard edition uh, as well. And they were gracious enough to send me both of these. Okay, so full disclosure here, my original plan for this comparison video was to compare this 4K release to the previous 2021 4K release from We'll Go USA. However, when I started comparing the two releases against each other, I literally found very, very subtle differences. Almost no difference at all. However, Second Sight's UHD release does offer something that this previous 4K release does not. And that is both HDR10 and Dolby Vision grading, which is great for those of us who have Dolby Vision. Uh, the image is a tad brighter. It's a little bit more vivid. Uh, the, the black levels are just a little bit more uh, deeper, but really that's about it. Also, YouTube can't decode Dolby Vision, only HDR right now, so that's pointless. So for the sake of this video and for those out there who only own the Blu-ray, I decided to go ahead and just compare uh, Second Sight's 4K UHD against the Blu-ray, which is included in this uh, release, because really it just makes no sense to compare the 4K to itself. All right, so let's dig into the sick, depraved, wholesome world of Brandon Cronenberg and compare the previous release Blu-ray against Second Sight's new 4K release. And you're going to want to stay tuned after the review for a brief, closer look at this box set as we do a little unboxing here that includes exclusive artwork, uh, exclusive swag in here, and I'm also going to do a breakdown of all the new special features exclusive to this release only. Possessor is a very bleak, drab, and dour looking film, and the color palette reflects all this with the tones and atmosphere of the film. And even with the darker color palette, the film also does have remarkable uses of color ranges with brilliant vivid primaries, which are used in a very specific manner where each color is used uh, themically to that particular scene. It, it's used as a visual cue to the fractured mental states of characters and also who is in control and who isn't. And the use of the HDR10 and with Second Sight's new Dolby Vision grading, it draws all this out even more so with excellent color depth and more stability than we have on the Blu-ray. Uh, there are numerous scenes where the entire image is either bathed in a bold or icy blue or deep reds. Reds are impressively vivid and bold. And then we get into those dark grimson blood reds with all the carnage and blood and gore. It looks very natural and lifelike, along with blues that shimmer and yellows that are richer. Also, all the beige, browns, and earthy tones, such as in the lab, are more fully realized here on this 4K, while the more natural aspect of the film with exteriors of the outside world looks crisp and bright. There's just some really excellent contrast and color schemes here that carries plenty of color gradients without the image simply being bathed in an artificial pulsed filter. And while this definitely is not the most happy filled color experience, you can't deny the image looks gorgeous with all the various colors, uh, splashes of colors that are very natural and pleasing to look at throughout. Saturation also helps by keeping the image looking fresh and natural while injecting some nice punch and vividness into the image. And contrast levels gives natural brightness to the image while also helping out all those dark and gloomy looking scenes. 
As far as the black levels, the Blu-ray really didn't have much issues uh, with the black levels to speak of at all. But with the 4K, with the HDR10, and especially with the new Dolby Vision grading, what that does is it really enhances the black levels even more that are very strong, deep, and stable, giving some outstanding extra depth within the image that we just didn't have on the Blu-ray that is very impressive. Shadows are likewise also impressive that penetrates deep into the screen. And all of this really helps in drawing out even more information in the image than I noticed on the Blu-ray when I compared the two formats, even in the darkest, murkiest corners of the frame. White Levels comes in with some great prominence uh, to the highlights especially without clipping or being blown out and the natural bright white levels really helps by also giving some nice pop to the colors. Details and textures are just immaculate. From any direction the camera's pointed at, especially in the backgrounds, it stays crisp and sharp. The Blu-ray didn't suffer much lack uh, with the finer details either, but like with the black levels, the 4K again just elevates this even more so, where we can clearly make out every detail within the frame, and all the finer internet details of the lab mask, uh, wires, controls, the, the bed. Uh, Brandon Cronenberg, just like his dad, really believes in the use of practical effects over CG, and none of the practical effects ever look digitally processed on the 4K. A great example is a sequence where Tasa uh, melds into Colin's consciousness. It was done using melted wax of the head, hands, and body, and it's absolutely gorgeous to look at as it melts. It's definitely a highlight scene in the 4K. All of this just really showcases the beautiful production and special effects design. So I would definitely say the details and textures are probably the biggest area where the 4K takes a nice leap over the 1080p Blu-ray. And on this 4K, I found no compression or encoding artifacts or issues to speak of. I honestly found zero problems with the image or the disc itself at all. And I'll say this, if you have friends that aren't too squeamish or offended by graphic uh, violence or just the sheer bleakness of the film, but are sick and depraved individuals just as we are, then this is a perfect demo disc to show the power of what 4K UHD, especially the new Dolby Vision grading and HDR10 can really do. It looks exceptional. All right, but now let's dive into the audio presentation of Second Sight's 4K UHD presentation. And unfortunately, Second Sight did not give the audio an upgrade to Adobe Amos track, and which is a missed opportunity in my opinion because this film was made for an Amos track. Uh, between the music and all the different surreal sound effects, it would have been great to hear a fully utilized sound mix. Instead, Second Sight just chose to go with the same DTS lossless HD 5.1 track that's also on the 4K UHD disc. And the track more than gets the job done. All right, so my score for Second Sight's 4K UHD release, I'm giving this a resounding five out of five for video and audio. This looks even better with the new Dolby Vision grading. And if you don't have Dolby Vision, it still looks great under HDR grading. All right, but now here's the real test. When you look at the differences here between the Blu-ray and the new 4K UHD presentation from Second Sight, which do you think looks better? Or do you see any comparison at all? Head over to the comment section and let me know. All right, now it's time to get into an unboxing of this beautiful Second Sight uh, box, rigid slipcase box. Uh, so I'm going to switch over to the other camera so you can get a closer look and uh, take a look at what's all inside and all the goodies. All right, now we're going to get into the supplemental material. And this release includes new 2024 features that are exclusive only to this Second Sight release, either the box set or this standard edition. And it includes a new 2024 audio commentary with director Brandon Cronenberg, uh, the film's producer, the cinematographer, and the special effects supervisor. And if you're into indie filmmaking on any level, this is definitely the audio commentary to listen to. It was fantastic. 
We also have a new 2024 interview with Brandon Cronenberg uh, that's titled The Unfamiliar Life. And this is just an excellent, in-depth, 30-minute interview exploring the film, the filmmaking process, and all the ins and outs of the film itself. A new 2024 interview with the director of photography. This is another outstanding interview from Second Sight about all the various and unique ways the film was shot using various styles to, to give the film its very surreal, psychedelic look. We also have an interview with a special effects supervisor. Again, another excellent interview that focuses on all the practical effects work. And if you're into special effects, practical effects on any level, then this is definitely one you want to watch. It, it was very uh, inspiring to me. And we also have a few featurettes here, in, including a short film by Brandon Cronenberg, uh, which is called Please Speak Continuously and Describe Your Experience As They Come to You. It's a long title, but this is a cool little short film that shows the inspiration, the idea of where Possessor originated from. We also have deleted scenes and also four behind-the-scenes featurettes and a theatrical trailer. All right, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me for a few minutes here as we talk about Brandon Cronenberg's uh, 4K UHD release from Second Sight of Possessor. As always, guys, keep physical media alive, and I'll see you next time.